Welcome to another Make It video, and today we are creating this luxury inspired planner. I know that there are some of you who do not wish to spend a lot of money on luxury planners and agendas and notebooks, so this is an affordable option for those who are not afraid to do a DIY. So keep watching if you want to learn how to make this planner in four easy steps. There are a few materials and tools that you will need to complete this DIY. When it comes to the materials, you can use faux or real leather. It depends on what your preference is, as well as I use a cutter machine, but you can certainly do it manually and just use a knife. Also, there is an optional step five, which will include sewing. So if you do know how to sew leather and you have a needle and thread, then that is optional. Here's a checklist of all of the materials and tools needed, including any optional materials and tools. Step one is to cut the material. So I have a die cutter here. I'm just going to put my material on the die cutter and then put it on the die cutter machine. I have a manual machine, so I'll just pull the lever down to go ahead and make the cut. And because the, you know, the die cutter is so big, I'm going to have to just move it around on the machine to get all of the areas cut nicely here. So all I'm doing is just moving the die cut board around to make sure each area is cut all the way through the material. So now I'm just going to make sure that all of the areas have been cut and take it off the die cut board. Front facing faux leather material is cut. Just repeat the same process for the leather backing. So we have both the front and the backing. They have both been cut to the same size. As you can see, the back of this material is unfinished, so I'm going to cover it with the backing. The backing will also make it more sturdy as well. So I'm just going to peel it off and stick it on to the material and make sure it's lined up correctly. And then I'm going to use the scissors to make sure everything's evened out correctly along the edges. So as you can see, the edges are like white. It has the same color as that backing. So I'm going to move on to the next step where I paint those edges. This is the edge paint that I use to paint those edges. So I decided to paint it black to match up with the material. Now here's the final after it's been painted and dried. And I think it looks really good. This looks much better than it did before with the white on the edges. This looks a lot more professional. Now it's time to add the ring. So here are the screws that come with the ring. You wanna go ahead and get all your screws and Make sure that they are ready to screw into the holes. So I'm just lining up the ring, making sure that it fits and lines up with the holes that are already punched in. Now I'm going to insert the screw in the back on each side. And then I'm going to flip it over so that I can screw them in to the ring. So I'm just using... The screwdriver here to screw them in tightly to the ring and kind of twist it on the back side as well to get it locked in tight. And that is it. So we have the ring attached. You can add an optional strap to this to close it. It's not necessary, but you can do it. If you're interested, keep watching. I'm actually not going to show a lot of this step because it is very optional. But basically, I have the holes punched for the sewing on this strap. So basically, I'm just going to open up those holes a little bit wider so that I can get my needle through it. 
and sew the thread all the way through the strap and sew it on to the actual planner material. Now, again, this is optional. I also added the snap closure using my little tool here. Here's the final product. I love the way it turned out. I found these refills on Amazon, so they fit in quite nicely. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I have included all of the materials and tools that were used in this video in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.